Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Hydroneer. I've done a little bit off screen since you guys have last seen. We moved the water pipe from over here. It just wasn't, didn't feel right, didn't look right. So I moved it over here, and you can see I kind of set up a better wash station. There is a, a platform underneath this, and we got our washing pan here, and then all of our storage pans, and I got quite a bit of um, iron built up, gold, some new gems, and I have found ourselves a new piece of ore, uh, Claudium ore, and I've only got one piece of it so far, but we've got, got a piece of it, so that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and just drop that right back in there. All right, today's goal, if you want to keep watching, is to go ahead and process all of these ores, do a little bit of crafting, and then I was also thinking to keep exploring the map. We haven't done quite a bit of exploring. We've only really explored this western half of the map. Uh, you can see here we've gone to uh, Burnscroft, the Bastion Keep, but there's an entire, you know, other three quarters of the map that we can explore. Um, we haven't been to Bridgeport. That's where a lot of the fancy equipment is, if you will, and stuff we need to keep working our way towards for automation. And then we can go take a peek at the other three dig sites that we can eventually purchase. So let's go ahead and drop this map back on the ground and let's do a little bit of crafting. We've got plenty of resources, so let's make ourselves a crap ton of money. So we'll drop our cauldron there and then let's go ahead and start with the iron. Now we're going to watch all of this scatter and then I'm going to have to play like 52 pickup, but that's okay. So let's see if it all goes. Oh wow, it all went in one nice pour. That is uh, exciting. And then we're going to come back here and throw this fella on the fire and we'll watch this start to heat up. Uh, if you haven't checked out any of my previous episodes of Hydroneer, please do. Uh, we've done not that much in the game, but... We're, we're starting to get there. You can see our, our pit where we're digging out dirt from is getting a little deeper. So that's good. And we got our little crafting station set up here. And then, of course, our um, air quotes here, house, a.k.a. a cot on the ground so we can sleep through the night and you guys can actually see what I'm doing. But that's okay. Um, so comment on down below on if you're playing Hydroneer, how your mind's going. Let me know any tips and tricks as I start to progress here and get towards the automation stuff. That, you know, how I can build the best mine and make it the most efficient mine as well. Let's see how this is doing. I haven't heard the, the whoosh of it melting yet. Not quite yet. Okay, up oh, there it goes. Speak of the devil. So let's go ahead and pick this up. And let's see how big of an iron bar we get in our former. That's a pretty big iron bar. And we'll, um, let's go get our gold now. And we'll melt our gold down. Drop that there. All right, gold pan. Oops. Drop that down there. All right, friend, I need you to stay standing up. Nope, you're going to roll. There we go. And, oops, picked up one little piece of gold. Let's try that again. Third time's the charm. All the gold in the pan into the cauldron on the first shot. I'm believing in it. And looks like all but one or two made it. I can live with that. So let's get this little guy here and drop him in. And then this little guy up here and drop him in as well. And then let's go ahead and go smelt this. And back onto the fire you go, just as you're cooling down. Um, all right, so let's drop this on the anvil. Uh, what do we want to craft? We had a dagger last time. So let's, um, let's pick this off here for a second so we can see what we're making. Don't want to do jewelry, so there's the dagger. Um, there is the hatchet. And well, so we'd have to cut our iron bars in halves or thirds to do this. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna make another dagger because I don't have the saw to cut this yet and we need the money. So let's just go ahead and make a dagger. That's kind of boring. Um, and we drop that on the ground, of course. Let's try this again. There, stay. There we go. Okay, and our smithing hammer here. And there goes our gold. And we will smith this into a dagger. It still hasn't switched over yet. Do I have it uh -huh. on dagger? Why can't I drop my hammer there? All right, let's try this again. Jesus. All right, dagger. Come on. Do, 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 do. You guys get to see all the technical difficulties here. All right. 
And hammer time. Anyways, I'm going to cut the video here, and for whatever reason, this isn't hammering, and I'll be back when this is made. All right, so I remembered literally just after I paused the video because I am a ding-dong that we have to heat the iron bar back up. So that's embarrassing, but now that it is heated back up, let's go ahead and make this dagger. Uh, I promise, guys, I do, I do know what I'm doing. I, I know how to play games, but maybe not. Sometimes you forget, and why are we picking this up now, too? We need to get the construction hammer here soon so I can lock all this in place. There we go. All right, smithing hammer and dagger time. Excellent. So there is our... Ooh, that's a pretty big dagger. I wish we could swing it or something, but whatever. There's our dagger. Now, for our gold, I was thinking, since, again, I don't have the proper equipment to cut our gold bar in half. And let's just go ahead and put that in there so I don't forget. Um... Let's make ourselves a nice, uh, what do we got? Sapphire, we've got emerald. Let's go ahead and make a nice emerald ring. So we'll bring our emerald over here and drop that on that just like that. Perfect. Gold bar should be heated up. And we'll put that on there as well. Let's see if it goes flying. Nope. All right, hammer time. And there we go, ourselves a nice emerald ring. And let's, uh, let's go sell this and see how much we get. And we're going to run up here to the jeweler. And it's a nice little run up the hill. We've got to work on our cardio as a player. Do, 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 And here we are. And we're going to drop the ring there. Ooh, 371. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, will the stock market buy it too? Let's, um, I don't know what these stock markets sell and purchase. Excuse me, purchase. Um, it's down. Let's just see how much we'd get here. 348. Okay, so it is more cost-effective to sell it at the jeweler. All right, so let's plop that down there, and we'll get ourselves 371 coins. We are rich now. I don't think we've ever sold anything for that much. So let's go on back down here, and we'll drop the coins in the little bin, and then we will... um go sell that dagger and of course I overshoot everything here running down here all right so what do we got now 408 very nice so let's go grab the dagger and see if we can sell that dagger for a lot of money too and we got our dagger and back up the hill we go working on our cardio again bum, bum, bum. hey don't forget to like the video if you're enjoying this hygiene air content comment on down below on what we got 231 okay that's pretty good Let's just go see what we can get at the Jew or the stock market. Comment on down below on how your games are going. Let me know. Uh, I think it was at 231, 241. All right, so we'll sell it here. Uh, again, tips, tricks, and hints on Hygienaire. Much appreciated. If you haven't checked out any of my other video series, I have a full playthrough of the Meeple Station campaign if you're interested. We're also getting going on my little blacksmith shop which is kind of similar to this, but just different mechanics. So that's pretty cool. And now we got 650 coins. Fantastic. And obviously, lastly, if you don't mind subscribing to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming Channel so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. All right, so let's go ahead and purchase the construction hammer because I'm tired of picking stuff up when I don't want to be picking stuff up. And we're also going to purchase a tool rack. Here we go. And we'll drop that here as well. So we're buying that for 120 coins. What are we left with? 530. Okay, still plenty of money. So we're going to go ahead and bring the tool rack over here. So another thing I did off screen that you guys didn't see was I purchased the improved shovel, which basically instead of taking four scoops to fill up the little pail here, uh, let me get out of the build screen here. Uh, instead of taking four scoops, it takes um, two scoops. So that's that's nice. And let's rotate this. And we're, actually, I'm going to go get a block. Yeah, I guess I don't need a block. So let's just go ahead and get our shovel. And we'll put our shovel there so it doesn't get lost in the rigmarole of things. It is getting kind of dark. Let me go to sleep. And then I will see you guys on the other side of me sleeping. All right, we're back. We slept through the night and we got a fantastic sleep. Let's go get that construction hammer and anchor some of our crafting area down so I don't keep moving things around. So I think if we just, so you can see it highlights, and if I click on it, move off, now it doesn't highlight anymore. Same thing with the anvil. So now I can't pick it up by accident. Let's drop our hammer here. So yeah, when I click on things, um, you know, I, or I click E, 
for whatever reason, we don't just accidentally pick things up. So let's go ahead and put that back. So then when I click E over this, that doesn't do anything. So that is the purpose of that. It's nice, especially as you get bigger, more complex structures that you don't want to accidentally move things around. So let's uh, hammer all of this into place and that and that. So now you can see again, I'm not highlighting any of it. And then let's hammer this into place. Oops, I guess we can't hammer the rack into place. Uh, let's get ourselves, uh, why can't I pick that up? Uh, this is embarrassing, put that back there. And anyways, I guess our, there we go, now we got it. Can we, nope, we can only store it there. Well, that's all right. So let's, um, let's hammer all this into place as well too. And then we'll go explore the map. Uh, that's pretty exciting stuff. There's a lot for us to see. And hammer, 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 and hammer that. All right, so good. That should all be locked into place now. So let's put this up. And we'll put that right there. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start hiking over towards... Let's go grab the map here. Bump it ba All right, we're going to go first to Iron that Nil, which is just up the hill over here. And it's kind of a snowy area. So again, I'm going to cut and I will see you guys when I make it to the top of the, the hill, to the Iron Nil. All right, so as we are walking up the hill, there is this new sign. I haven't seen this sign before, but I want to stop and show you guys it. Land for sale. So we've got three plots we can additionally buy. We got Drex Quarry, Mildew's Aquifer, and South Hope. And as you can see, they uh, the first two aren't terribly expensive. We are almost can almost afford them. Uh, but South Hope is quite a bit. So that's that sign. And as you can see, we're kind of heading up that way. And then just down there, you can kind of see our mining fields. So um, see you when we make it to uh, the top of the hill. All right, we're back. So I made it to the top of the hill. Just right over here is where we're going, that little uh, set of houses and buildings there. But I want to stop and kind of show you guys the beautiful surroundings of Hydranair. Got some pretty cool waterfalls there, some three waterfalls flowing down into a river and you can see there's the next city we're going to be going to visit and there's the little river flowing out to the ocean over there you can kind of see where we've been working there's the keep a little town over there and then you can't quite see it through the trees but down there kind of where i'm pointing is where our uh mine is at so let's uh let's take a quick peek at the map so you guys can kind of see where that blue dot there by iron nail uh, at the top of the hill. So let's uh, let's go look here. There is a, a stock market, I believe, here. And let's just do a little bit of exploring. We got a lot of storage, some homes here. Looks like someone had a campfire that burnt out. That's okay. Uh, yeah, okay. And we got another little hut over here. I wish we could go into some of these buildings and explore. That'd be pretty cool for the developers to flush out, but I know that's probably a lot of work. Here's the stock market. Uh, let's see. Looks like they buy weapons and jewelry. That's good. Uh, what's that say? Price per one weight. Ah, uh, and there is a scale so you can weigh it and it'll kind of give you an idea. Uh, what do we got? A little more housing over here, a little kind of a tower type structure and another little storage hut, house, barn thing. So that's pretty neat. Um, all right, so now we're going to head down towards Bridgepoor. Let's grab the map here so I can show you guys. And that's where a lot of the other objects, uh, automation objects we can buy are. So I will see you on the other side of the cut. All right, we are here in Bridgeport, a historic mining town, according to a little sign here. So let's go ahead and walk on in. The first shop we got is where you can purchase new vehicles. And there's some different tractors, and then there's this guy here, and I, I don't know exactly what this is called, but I'm going to call it the Shredder. And that just, you can mine uh, dirt with, and then it collects, and then you can dispense it into your mining facility. Uh, yeah, here it comes. It, the dirt comes out of here. And then you can uh, process it. So that's just a way to strip mine. And we got some different colored tractors here. And I don't think they have any different functions. Yeah, I think they just have different size beds and maybe speeds. I don't know. Um, but those are the tractors you can purchase. The next shop over here is uh, Itchy Carts. Um, get a good look at the sign there. Uh, this is a new shop. I don't ever remember this really being here. And there's a sunken boat in the water. That's pretty cool. Um, but then you can buy different carts. Uh, as you saw, we had that hand cart. So there's a little wooden cart here. And I think these are agile carts, fast wooden cart, and agile wooden cart. So um, designed to transport items quickly and designed to transport items agilely. Uh, what are they, 740? That's not terribly expensive. 
Uh, and then the next shop, we're actually going to ignore that one for a second, um, is the scrapyard where you can come and sell scrap. You know, if something gets destroyed or broken, you can sell it and get a little bit of money back. So that's pretty cool. And then over here is, here's the sign, um, Conveyor Nation. So in Conveyor Nation, as you can imagine, there's a lot of conveyor belts. So these conveyor belts are water powered and you can move dirt with them. In addition to that, you can use these to divert flow. You can buy a separator, a splitter. Um, so then it will do it based off of gold, iron ore, cloudium, and the gems. And um, the, um, why am I blanking on the names? Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh, based on the crystals you can find. Uh, additionally, there are up and down conveyor belts. You can do turning conveyor belts. There's a grinder here that will grind it. Um, that's just a regular conveyor belt there. And they're, they're okay price, you know, 263, 325, 263, 263. Uh, what's the separator cost you? 325, and I think these are pretty cheap. Yeah, 14. So not terribly expensive to set up some automation, at least when it comes to conveyor belts. Uh, down here in tools and equipment, a fantastic name. This is where you get some of the really cool automation stuff. Um, so you could buy your scale here again to measure the weight of your bars. Uh, the saw I was talking about earlier to cut bars in half. So like when we made that giant iron bar, if I wanted to cut the iron bar into half or thirds, then we could have made something different. So we might be buying this here soon. Uh, a magnetic stick to gather things up that you might have accidentally lost. We've looked at all that. We've seen that before. All right. So then we have the compressor, which compresses gems. So if we had a bunch of small sapphires, we could put them all in here, and then that would compress them into one large sapphire for us. Uh, a funnel, which is always nice, makes the pouring easier. We have a smelter, which uh, is just the bigger version of the crucible. Uh, so we've got all of this. We've looked a lot of that. Tool bags to repair things, because things will get damaged, especially like the pressure tank which will increase water pressure in your pipe system. And then you've got your water pressure gauge to tell you what the water pressure is at. Uh, okay, and then the drills. So we got the harvester, which breaks small chunks of dirt into resources. Uh, the higher the water pressure on a lot of this equipment, the better yield you'll get. And then you have David, which is the dynamic auto voxel inclusion distributor. Uh, and it's shard powered device, which duplicates dirt from nearby. So I haven't played with that. So that might be something we need to work our way towards. And then here we are, our two drills. We have the ram drill, which sits on uh, the top dirt and gathers resources that way. The more dirt, or excuse me, the more water pressure it has, the more efficient it is, but it can be damaged by dirty water, which you can fix by purchasing a water filter, which is right here. Um, and then we also have the Goliath drill, which extends downwards, gets better yield with more water pressure and can be damaged by unclean water. So as we remember when we first started, that dirt we were getting off the top wasn't as rich as the lower dirt. So getting the Goliath drill is better than the Ram drill. So that is all the equipment in tools and equipment. Let's go look over here. We've got um, Fabrics, fabrics um, fancy furniture. And again, this is just more aesthetic things like, okay, a planter box and cactus and tables and things like that you can use to decorate your house. We've got some, what was I getting caught on there? I was getting caught on something, um, you know, like a deer head mounted. There's a throne you can purchase for quite a bit of money. Um, a golden statue head, a safe to keep all your money safe, some bookcases, pedestals, uh, and there's fishing obviously, and you could put fish on trophy walls. So that is just some aesthetic items, pretty cool. Uh, down over here in housing is your basic housing things. Uh, so let's go over here, like some roofing, some stairs. Uh, there's some different uh, concrete floor, some platform foundation stuff, large wood floor, large wood walls, um, a paintbrush where you can paint things different colors, thatch roof, uh, windows in your walls. So again, just if you want to build some housing stuff, which uh, eventually we want to get to. And then over here, I think there's one more shop down here. Where is it at? Um, oh, it's closed. Interesting. I forgot what used to be here, but there used to be something here. Uh, maybe they'll change that soon. I don't know. Uh, here's a jeweler, so you can sell stuff if you want to. And yeah, this is the little city. Now let's go check out that other shop that I was uh, purposely ignoring at first. There's a little graveyard there. So boop, boop, boop. Back over here we go. Um, so this was added in one of the newer updates. 
Uh, this is the Logic and um, Power Shop. This is new. I definitely haven't played with any of this. Um, so like, there's this reactor where you can put shards. That's the thing, the word I was looking for. Uh, and it just creates power um, to power things like so batteries. You can store your power in batteries. Um, so there's a Power David, which is the same David we saw down there. Uh, and then there's a power destroyer. So if you want to destroy items, you can power your pressure boosters, power intake. So just, you know, improving your water speed or water pressure through power. So we got a powered filter. When powered, provides 100% filtered water, drains power. Ah, okay. Uh, and over here, we've got a pallet. Um, and then we have a logic smelter. Um, so when it gets logic put through it, it smelts things. We have a durable re durability reader. So it will tell you how durable an item is and um, spanner hurling unit. So basically it automatically fixes things for you when logic is passed through it. Logic valve, so you can use logic to turn things on and off. And here's your uh, input and switches for logic, some cables for logic. Uh, what do we got here? A logic counter, uh, counts item passed through the gate, counts is set by passing logic into top, logic reading output is on the side. All right, some very complex stuff that we will definitely have to play around with eventually. Um, what do we got here? A leg X, place, remove, support leg for logic cable and power lines. Okay. And then the coolest thing, uh, one of the cooler items expanded uh, or added recently is the logic explosives. So things go kaboom when logic is passed through. And then lastly, there is one more shop and I, I looked at it earlier it's getting a little dark here, so hopefully you guys can still see. Um, if not, down in the comments below, let me know, and we can revisit this later. But I think there's, yeah, there's plenty of light over here. Um, so you can purchase a workbench, which then you can use like screwdrivers and spanners and things like that to craft. Down here we go into the hull of the ship. Um, it gives you different blueprints. So like you can make candles, you can make your own um, teapot. Uh, what do we got? Elbow pipe. Just some things that aren't available in the shops. Shield blueprint, probably for decoration. Oop, cage blueprint. So uh, some aesthetic and some stuff that you can use. So just uh, some cool things that were added. We've got blunderbuss. Ooh, you can make yourself a gun. That's pretty neat. Uh, so yeah, that is kind of the end of all the shops. Um, it is getting kind of dark, so we won't visit the other mining fields in this episode uh we'll visit those on the next episode so we were able to do quite a bit today we crafted all the materials i gathered up over time and we explored a lot of the remaining maps saw all the shops saw all, saw all the cool equipment that we'll be able to eventually purchase uh so like the video if you've enjoyed it comment on down below on hydrogenary what you like about it what you don't like about it let me know if you want me to keep playing it and if you really don't mind, please subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by today, and we'll see you in the next Hydraneer video.